All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. If you're new, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now Dodge just released their latest last call model. It's called the King Daytona. And basically it's very similar to what the Hellcat Daytona is. There's a limited production of them. I believe it's going to be around 300 units. Uh, so it's going to be very hard to get your hands on. That being said, it's kind of a red-eye version of the Daytona and basically the fastest and most powerful Daytona you could get your hands on. Now, it, again, it's another decaling kind of package, but I do like the fact that it's a little bit quicker and a little bit faster than the regular red-eye. You get a little bit of bragging rights, but you're certainly going to pay top dollar for this. Uh, now, I don't really want to kind of crap on what Dodge is really doing at this point because they're just trying their best uh, with a really crappy situation. But I think that if Dodge really wanted to make a splash, they should really consider making one of these a Charger Coupe and modeled it very similar to what I have up uh, this Super B model. I think that would really entice a lot of these Charger owners and even Challenger owners to go out and get this car no matter what the price tag is. I know that it would be a must have if they came out with a Charger Coupe. I absolutely love the styling of the Charger and it would be a dream of mine to have a Charger sedan and a Charger Coupe sitting right next to it. I would probably end up, you know, getting into financial issues, getting my hands on one, but it's certainly something that I would really love to see uh, happen, whether that's in a 5.7392 and a Hellcat trim level, all of which hopefully would, would get the same Daytona kind of uh, package where you get the additional horsepower. So if you, it's a 5.7, maybe it's at 400 horsepower. 392, you get 500. And then the Hellcat version, you're at the, you know, the 800 plus range. Uh, that being said, you know, I, I have to admit that it is nice that you do get a little bit of that power. It's a great looking car. And, uh, you know, I'm going to show you guys some of the features that uh, the Dodge Garage is listing up. And, you know, they're, again, they're not listing any of the prices. And I, I think that's because uh, these things are going to be extremely expensive. The Shakedown, the Super B, um, and uh, what was the other one? I don't know, whatever. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll tell you, the Daytona is definitely one of the coolest packages. I've always been a, a, a huge fan of the Daytona. Uh, I went to the drag strip and I was actually fortunate enough to see the Hellcat Daytona. Uh, go out there bone stock and throw up some pretty solid times considering how hot it was I'll show you that footage right now All right guys, we got a bone stock Daytona Hellcat And then we have an RT with cam head Tube headers, exhaust, versus a bone stock Hellcat Daytona. Out of the reports, if the next year the last time this car with the body style will see a V8 motor, it'll all become electric.
All right, so you've had three runs now. Three so runs. how do you feel about what, what you're putting up on the board, considering the heat and uh, everything? Feel good, feel good. My first run was my best run. It was 11-9, so I feel pretty good. Running stock with everything and not having anything done to it except the JLT performance air intake. I feel that's a pretty good production run on that for stock. 717 horsepower, I definitely feel So with it. the first uh, run, did you do like uh, a launch control at a certain no, RPM? I just or? kept traction control on actually, and I did a dry run at uh, no launch control, just did a straight run, did a small burnout, got a little grip, you know, got everything off the tires, and then just did a clean run. Ran 11.9, it felt good, it stuck good, it gripped, I stabbed it at about 30, 40, and it just kept going and hooked and didn't have any issues with it. Beautiful. And then so your other runs, did you kind of alter anything? Yeah, or? I raised the RPM up a little bit on the, the gears uh, to 1200 to 1600 RPM on that. So I spun a little bit a little bit on that. I ended up doing 12.2 on that. So a little bit slower with the higher RPM, but it spins a little bit more. So your so. 60 foot was uh, struggling a little bit. Yeah, okay. a little bit with the higher RPMs, yeah. So I feel like I need to shift a little bit quicker and a little bit lower RPMs to kind of get it going a little bit quicker gotcha. than gears. Okay. So you're doing a run up coming right now right or yeah, you're, yeah. you're letting someone else do it i'm letting my buddy right here is a white diamond detail product okay his name is brian mashburn he's gonna take a run in it for his first time is, so is he gonna do anything different than what you've been doing well, I'm or gonna, i'm gonna lower the rpm we were first running our first run at 1200 and then we did our second run at 16 so i'm gonna put him at about 13 14 see if we can kind of even it out get a little bit more time better okay you know Hopefully you don't get too much wheel spin, right? Yeah, that's the that's the issue right there. So I'm gonna try to heat it up. It's a hot day today, so I need to cool it down, but it's running real hot. So I think I'll probably do one more run and then maybe call it for the day. All right, so I'm gonna get his last run. You having fun, right? Of course, always having fun here. Love that's it. it, man. That's what it, this is all about, right? Going out, enjoying your car, and exactly working hard and enjoying the riches. You exactly, know? that's it, man. So, guys, definitely. What what's your Instagram? Uh, it's Hellcat underscore Holter four ninety five. And you said you're modifying this down the road, right? Yep. So, so just keep an eye on me, and I'll be doing mods probably about every month and doing something. I'll post and just okay. follow me. And guys, make sure you follow him on Instagram. He'll, he'll take you through the process of modding this, and you're gonna be hitting this place up, right? Yeah, all day, every day. I'll see you next time. All right, sounds good, man. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. You be safe. You did pretty good. Oh yeah. First Are you happy with strip. it? First time at the strip, first time in the car, 1208. That's not bad. Okay. You yeah. didn't launch too hard either. Yeah, you kind of got your traction and, and went. Rolled on out into it and hammered down. Yeah. And it just took off. You gonna try and go again or no? Uh, we might try to hit a roll race, trying to get through, you know, a little bit more, trying to get a little bit more instead of waiting for everyone to go through. So once you caught traction, oh, how yeah. did it feel, man? It just felt like a spaceship, really. <laughs> you know, then I came around that Kia Stinger right at the end, I do believe. 